hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about a different devops tool that is called sonar type nexus repository this is a tool basically provided by sonar type and this is the same company which also provide the nexus iq tool as well okay so the same company provides this nexus repository tool we will be discussing about this tool what is this t uh, i mean what is this tool used for why this tool is needed and how we can use this tool in our devops okay this is the first video about this tool i will be making different videos about this tool as well like how we can install this in windows or in virtual machines along with i will set this up i will create the different types of repository and we can push and pull the artifacts as well so let's begin the video i will just give you a brief introduction about it this is a repository manager sona type nexus repository is basically a repository manager which we can use to manage artifact and dependency which uh, we need to use in our project okay so suppose you have java project dot net project or python project or even different type of repository as well like am repository to store the rpm packages or maven repository to store the java packages okay apart from this we have multiple packages inside this jump uh, packages maven packages python packages nuget packages and many different types of package management is available in, inside this nexus repository okay this is also you can say if you compare this with azure devops you can compare this with azure artifacts but this is way better than azure artifact let me now move ahead what is sona type nexus sona type nexus is a repository manager that helps manage software artifact and dependencies it supports various formats including maven npm docker and more okay so basically if we have the software dependencies if you have java project and you have some java dependencies such as spring boot or any other dependencies you can clone the proxy repositories inside this sona type nexus repository and you can resolve the dependencies from there inside your java project and even you can build your project and push your artifact in the sona type nexus repository and again you can consume those artifacts which you have pushed from the nexus repository so this is a great tool for your artifact management or dependency dependencies management if you have installed this in your organization okay this you can also install in the virtual machines or uh, kubernetes as well or wherever you want even in clusters you can install this as containers okay why we need to use nexus repository or basically why we can use this nexus repository this is a centralized management of artifacts and dependency we can store all the artifacts that can be your build artifact or even different type of multiple multiple packages along with their dependencies in the nexus repository if you are using this you don't need to go anywhere for your dependencies or to store your artifact and even to pull the artifact okay improve collaboration and productivity across development teams so multiple development teams you can use this nexus repository for their build and artifact ensure secure and reliable software builds so if you ask me how this is secure this uh, tool you can basically use inside your own network that can be your on premises or even inside your virtual network 
so that nobody from the public can access your nexus repository or nobody from internet or public network can access this repository only teams which uh, which are uh, in your organization can use this dependencies or packages what whatever you have kept in the nexus repository okay key features what are the features of nexus this is the universal support for multiple repository formats like i told you already uh, it supports multiple repository formats like yum maven python nuget docker raw repositories or even composer and php supports as well you can uh, install the plugins and even you can uh, use those things as well okay role based access control for secure artifact management you can uh, create even the local users or you can even uh, integrate this with azure ad and you can provide or you can even integrate a uh, implement saml authentication so that your azure active directory users will be able to authenticate with the nexus repository okay so this is basically secured and you can only provide the permission to the users which are required and needed automated security and license checks for stored components so it will check automatically about the security and license checks and it will inform you if anything there is any issue in the security or even there is any issue with your license even you can integrate this repository with nexus iq tool by sonar type which you can use to scan all the packages inside your uh, repository suppose you have packages from internet you are downloading inside the nexus repository nexus iq will basically scan all the packages and will show you if there are critical or high issues inside your packages so that you can check the check them and you can take action accordingly okay types of repository in nexus basically we can create three types of repository in nexus the first one is proxy repositories this type of repository we can create whenever we have requirement to get the packages from internet or from or from somewhere else okay cache remote repo cache remote repositories to improve build times so if you have uh, a remote a, a remote repository somewhere and you want to cache that repository inside your nexus you can create proxy repositories okay i will give you an example so suppose you are using java projects and you want to you might have some uh, dependencies for java dependencies or there should be there should be some dependencies inside your project right so from the maven central repository so inside nexus you can create this proxy repositories and in the proxy url you can provide the url of your url of the maven central repository so that it will pull all the packages which you need from the maven central repository and it will cache only those packages inside the nexus okay so whenever you have to even download the new uh, new packages you can just add inside your project and nexus will automatically download all the packages which you need from the maven central repository okay so proxy repository this is how it works and the another one is hosted repository this this is being used to manage internal and custom artifact suppose you want to push the package you want to create a repository where you want to push the packages by yourself then in case of this scenario you can use the hosted repository i'll give a i'll give you an example so suppose you have built your java code and you want to push your packages or you want to push all the files which you have built 
inside some of the repository or in some storage generally if you are using azure pipelines then you can even push this in azure pipeline or azure artifact feed but if you want to push this in nexus repository you will have to create the hosted repository here you can push all the artifact your build artifact and you can even download it from there the third type of repository is group repository here in the group repository you can even connect multiple repository into a single endpoint this means in one group repository we can have multiple proxy repository and even the multiple hosted repositories okay so suppose you created one group repository and you included whatever you have in the proxy repository and hosted repository and you are using this group repository to resolve all the dependency as even to download your artifact which you have even pushed inside this hosted repository so if you create the group repository and you added your proxy repository and hosted repository which you have created inside the group repository then you can use this group repository inside your project to resolve the plugin and resolve the dependencies and also to download the packages which you have pushed the, in the hosted repository so if you check and browse the group repository all the content from your proxy repository and hosted repository will automatically be synced into this group repository okay so this group repository is basically a group of multiple repository is repositories in nexus okay this is a compare comparison of nexus versus jfrog artifactory you can even use this as well jfrog both are popular artifact management tools but nexus offers a, offers a simpler setup this is nexus is very simple to set up and very simple to manage you can use this anytime anywhere this does not need a, a expert okay nexus has a community edition while jfrog features are more enterprise oriented okay the next setting up the nexus repository if you want to set up the nexus repository you will have to download and install nexus oss from the official website after once that is downloaded and installed you can configure the repository type based on your project project requirement so suppose your project requirement is of java you can set up the maven repositories if you are creating uh, nexus repository or repository for dotnet you can create the NuGet repository if you want to store the rpm packages you can create the am repositories like this you can create different type of repository based on your project need and project type okay secure your nexus instance with role based permission once everything is done you can provide the permission to the users based on your requirement you can provide permission at some uh, repository level as well so whatever users which you are create suppose uh, i am i am the owner of x repository then i should be given permission to only the x repository right so this type of scenario also you can handle in the nexus repository what are the best practices for using nexus regularly clean up unused artifact to save storage uh, you should be doing all these things so generally if you are storing uh, if you are creating virtual machines to install the nexus repository you will have to clean up the artifact so that you can save on storage integrate nexus with your ci cd pipelines for automated deployments you can integrate nexus repository with your ci cd pipelines 
I will also show you, show you how you can basically integrate Nexus repository with the CI CD pipelines for automated deployments. Okay, monitor repository health and security to ensure smooth operations. You can basically monitor the repository health and even you can integrate Nexus IQ uh, to check for the issues inside your repository. So these are some of the features we get in the Nexus repository and we don't get these features in some different type of repository like if you are using Azure Artifact Feed we don't get all these features. Okay. So finally Sonar type Nexus is a powerful tool for managing software artifacts and dependencies and it helps streamline software development by ensuring secure and reliable builds if you have to use this tool this is very uh, this is very powerful powerful tool for your dependencies or to resolve your plugins inside your project and once your project is built you can push the artifact inside the nexus repository and whenever you have to deploy that you can pull the artifact from your nexus repository and you can download or you can deploy that file to whenever you want that can be your test dev, dev environment test environment or even in production okay that's it from this video we have seen what are the nexus repository why we need to use it and we also have seen the basic concept about the nexus repository in further video of nexus we will see how we can install it how to use it how we can create the repository how we can push the packages how we can pull the packages and how we can basically integrate a nexus repository with ci cd pipelines and also how we can integrate nexus iq with ci cd pipelines or even how we can integrate Nexus repository with Nexus IQ to scan our packages. Okay, so that's it about this video. We'll meet in different video, another video about Nexus repository. If you have any questions or doubts, you can comment it and I will reply you. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please let me know in the comments.